There are many different ways we can tone our images. There are even plugins available as well. But one of my favorites we sometimes overlook and it's an adjustment layer. So let's come over to the layers panel. We're going to go down to the adjustment layer and what we're going to be using is the color lookup. Now with the color lookup, you've got the properties panel. This is showing the 3D LUT. It's showing the abstract and the device link. One word of warning, some of them under the device link will only work if you're using a Mac. That's the bad news. The good news is the better ones are found under the 3D LUT. So we're going to click on this. We're going to start off by using Edgy Amber. And I say start off because we can add multiple layers. Let's go back down to color lookup. This time under the 3D LUT, we're going to go right the way to the bottom. We're going to go to tension green. Back over to the adjustment layer, down to guess where, color lookup. This time we're going to be using Kodak, the 5218, the 2383, or it's the one in the middle. Right, there's the look but looking a little bit too amber for my liking. So we're going to click on the bottom layer, going to come to the opacity slider, going to reduce the opacity down into that area there, 30%. Let's come up to the tension green. Let's reduce the opacity of this down into, let's take it to about 40%. And there it is. Like the way this is working. Don't forget you can switch this layer off so you can see the way the edgy amber is working with the Kodak or you can switch this layer on and switch our edgy amber off and see the way the tension green is working with the Kodak again. It's entirely up to you what effect you choose, what effect's gonna work for your pictures and the tonal range in the image that you're working with. Looking at the picture, I think it's just a little bit bright. So we're gonna to go to an adjustment layer. We're gonna go back to color lookup. And this time we're gonna be using the abstract profile. We're gonna be going down to lightness decrease, which means darken down the picture. Let's just lift it so it's the top layer of the layer stack. That would help. And I'm going to drop down the opacity. I'm going to take it down to that sort of area there. That looks pretty good. Just switching it on and off. Job done. Right, so there it is. We have now got four color lookups uh, giving us effect. If I just switch it on and off by pressing the Alt or the Option key, clicking on the little eye icon, you can see that's what we started off with. That's how we've ended up toning our picture. And one thing I would suggest, when we got layers like this, just click on the top one, so this is live. Hold and press down the Shift key. Now click on the bottom layer, so they're all highlighted. Come down to this little folder icon, or try using Command G or Control G, Command G, Control G, and that'll group these layers together. Just switching it on and off, and there it is. Job done. Put it aside. Leave it for a couple of days, look at it with fresh eyes, make any other adjustments, but go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.